Hello traders, welcome to FreeFX. Today is Thursday and we have quite a lot of things to cover but my first thought is what has been happening this week? Why is price chopping around? So we're going to have a look at that. So we're on the 26th of May. We started the week with some interesting movements. This is the four hourly chart and we started the week on the 23rd with some attempt at moving past the middle band of the Bollingers and we went up and it was rejected. The bands are quite narrowed a fair bit and then we came into the Tuesday session and we started getting into a lot of chop as you can see there's not a lot of movement. Now as we go past this you can see that there's quite a bit of movement so actually today has been a very good day because we've moved out of this and price is consolidating above the 21 weighted moving average and the 20 SMA for the Bollinger Bands. If you've got any questions about that please let me know but that's how I trade. I use those particular uh, indicators. So the CCI, another indicator I use, and you can see that we've actually come down to the minus 200 level and we moved above the middle level, the zero, and we're actually moving up with price towards the positive 200. Now, there may be a rejection like we've seen here on the 4th of May, which was just around the time where the uh, FOMC raised the interest rates, but actually, we're not in the same situation. Uh, the FOMC rate decision won't be until the middle of June. So we're not in that particular pre-press statement, pre-rate decision scenario. So we may be pushing towards the 200 and going higher. When we're in an uptrend, we tend to see more of that, pushing towards the positive 200 several times as price continues higher. And when we're in a downtrend, we tend to push down on the uh, negative 200. An example of that can see uh, this particular area pushing down from the uh, 30th of March. You can see that we have price continuing down in a nice downtrend here. And yet we are constantly pushing down on a minus 200 and bouncing between that and the middle line. So pushing on a minus 200 on the four hour chart is not a sign that we are going to reject the trend and price is going to turn. So I think if this is the turn back to uptrending, we might see a few more bounces against the positive 200 and down to the zero. So we'll be trading that range basically, either buying into that uptrend or buying and selling within that uptrend as it returns. Now, we've kind of come between uh, levels, but we are kind of just shy of a 20% drop from the all-time highs for the S&P 500 on the daily. So that means we are technically not in a bear markets but certainly it's been bearish and we've lost quite a bit of ground just under 20% from the all-time highs. Now if we look at the um, the way that CCI and price interact you can see that on the daily chart even better than the four hourly and so we actually got this. Now I'll just go back and you can see this uh, this diversion between price and the CCI if I show you this particular example which is quite telling really when we look at price in October 2021 down to the end of November so the top of the CCI from the 200 is coming down and lower highs and price is pushing up and then we see what happened after we had a big drop and pushed down towards the lower band and that was at the end of 2021 so just before so there is a predictive um, aspect to that on the daily and even better if you wanted sort of the wider picture when I said that pushing on the minus 200 in a bear trend in the four hour chart or on a short term chart and pushing on a 200 positive on the CCI again in a short term chart is not a sign that price uh, or the trend is going to be exhausted soon. If we look at something like the weekly chart then you will see something of that nature for the CCI. So currently we are pushing down on the negative 200 on the weekly chart and you can see that this week we started to reverse. We have this and we have this. So the two do go hand in hand on the wider time frames as well. If we see what happened the last time we pushed down even below the minus 200 we did then start the next leg of the historic trend which is an uptrend in the S&P 500. Another time this happened so that was during the the pandemic outbreak in March 2020 and another time was the end of 2018 when we had this drop and uh, on the weekly the CCI level came down to the minus 200 
and then from there it pushed higher to new to new highs so again on the wider time frames that turn on the minus or positive 200 comes more rarely less uh frequently so you can really use that to get a sort of wider picture of possibly a turn in the trend so this week we're left with uh, two trades at the moment i'm bullish and i've uh, entered as you can see my target is actually not on the four hourly it's on the eight hourly which means a little bit higher but i'm predicting not predicting but the wrong word by expecting with some probability that we'll get there if we don't get there by the end of the week i will cut the trade short i have fixed stops here set up so they're not trading stops and i'll have to see how we go but that's the end of uh, my trading video today thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video have a good trading week goodbye